Thank you. So Worthing take on Lewis, Bostic Premier League 5th versus 6th. And if we can have any kind of repeats of the 4-3 we witnessed back at the Dripping Pan in October, we're in for an absolute treat today. Luden. Good foot in. Here goes Pierce. Pierce with a chance to shoot from the area. In fact, he goes in, takes a deflection. Just past the post. Important touch that from the captain, Chapel. Worthing corner. Pierce around the keeper instead it goes short and it strikes just over the top Aguayer with the effort well watched by Racine and Adjiboy turns and goes he's got ahead of day still Adjiboy I was going to say he's got support but he's so going to go there's Pierce and again an important block by the captain Chapel And that was all made by the clever run of Vajiboy. There's a deep cross and a chance and... Well, Bluden got there, but didn't get enough on it. So Aguirre, the free kick. It's curled towards the back post and Racine's coming in and the keeper, Carey makes a fine save at the near post. Corner again to the near post, headed across. Cleared away. Frankie Chappell was there again. Colbrand's the man who got his head to it. Worthing putting the pressure on. Oh, a little flick round the corner there from Pierce. Didn't quite come off. Colbrand, good feet from him. And here goes Colbrand into the box. His strike over the top. Good pressure from Worthing. Chances keep coming. Hornet whips into the near post, headed towards goal from Colbrant. That's just past the post. We're under pressure from Lawson, and then he brings him down, and the referee has pointed to the spot. Aguirre under pressure from Lawson, forced the mistake. It's a penalty to Lewis. Well, now the referee's going to have a word with his linesman, who obviously was in line with the box. It's been sewn the red card, a straight red card. Being the last man a goal scoring chance. Harsh for the young. Worthing midfielder. I think if it had been a penalty, it wouldn't have been red. But as it is, it's a free kick, and Worthing are down to 10 men as they were at the dripping pan. Hammond and Pamant stand over the free kick. It's Hammond, hits the wall, back to Hammond, wide of the post. Took a deflection on its way through, corner. Free kick given again. Hammond looks to catch the keeper off his line. Oh, is that good over? The linesman is flagging. What's he flagging for? Once again, controversy. From where I'm stood, it looked like it went over the line. And the referee's given the goal. What a strike from James Hammonds. 
It took a while to get there. James Hammond with the opportunist free kick from just inside the Worthing half. Lewis take the lead. We're seen with a deep free kick and Clark was being held off and the referee spotted that one. It's a free kick to Worthing in a very dangerous position. So Oli Pierce with a chance from a free kick. He kills it, takes the reflection in off the wall! Oli Pierce levels it. Great strike from the front man. The 10 men back on level terms. Well, two free kicks and two goals. It's a difficult one for Colburn. He lost possession. Lawson to Reed. Pierce chasing back. Lawson out to date. Coppola just holds off the challenge, goes for goal. Oh, what about that? Charlie Coppola for about 20 yards, just curls one into the corner. And just before half time, Lewis regained the lead. Out for date. Plays one through for Pamant to chase, and Pamant's got in behind Colbrand. Kieran Pamant to make it three. What a save! The rebound! 3 1. Luke Bluden following in. Space out on the left for Day. He found Pamant with the ball in behind. He got in beyond the challenge, got his shot away, parried into the path of Bluden, who made no mistake. And Lewis have a two goal advantage. Going to drop to Coppola. Coppola still going. Here's Pamant. Low cross back to Coppola. He's back to goal. Somehow gets it across. And the deflection nearly took it in. Now Coppola. He's got Smith. Smith turns, gets it onto his left foot. Just got caught under his foot. And that's wild from James Hammond. Corner whips into the near post, heading towards goal. Again, another corner, free header! Jones scores for the second game in a row. Worthing pull one back. It was free, a mark six yards out. And it thundered in off the underside of the bar. It's Worthing 2, Lewis 3. Competitive this one. Bud then goes in. for Pamant, his first time ball, looking for Coppola, it bounces through for Lawson, there's three against three here, it's going to break the way of John T. Smith, it goes for goal, easy for Perntrout, his near post, and Pattenden has got spaces, Lewis committed players forward and they've got a player down at the back, it's a strong challenge, Worthing still on the attack. Patterson drop of the shoulder from Colbrand. Shoots with his left foot. Tipped away by Lewis Kerry. Corner ball. And here's Pamant. It's a lovely ball through. A chance to seal it. It's overturned. 4 2 to Lewis. In the end, the extra man paid off, and it's a substitute, Callum Overton. 
who seals the game in the second minute of stoppage time. Bud does well to get across it. And a pinball in the box. And that's a penalty to Worthing. The goal score is not over yet. Here steps up, fires it into the middle of the net. There's still two minutes of stoppage time to go by my reckoning. It's Worthing three, Lewis four. Pierce gets his second of the game, but Worthing down to nine men. It's all happened here today. And the man at the middle of it all is wearing black. And the referee blows the whistle. I don't know where to start in summarising this game. Plenty of goals, red cards, penalties, free kicks. You've had it all. The final score at the Bibby Financial Services Stadium. Worthing three, Lewis four.